Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you, I'll tell everyone right here, right now, how to get fucking rich. I'm okay. going to tell, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to get rich. If you're a scientist, you never, ever wake up, go into the lab, pour the right chemicals and fix the problem. That doesn't happen. You go into the lab, you try some shit, it's up. You try some new shit, it fucks up. And you keep fucking around until something kind of works. Penicillin was a mold that grew on accident on top of an old experiment. And the dude goes, what's this mold? Oh, it's penicillin. Before you know it, you have antibiotics. So mistakes, eventually something goes well. So I say this to people, look, how many ways have you tried to earn money? You earn money X way. How many other ways have you tried? Because you need to try a whole ton of ways and you got to make a bunch of mistakes like a, like a scientist does to find the thing that works. And everyone's heard this before, right? And then they'll say, they have two hurdles to do in that. One, they're lazy. And two, they'll say, well, I have ideas, but I don't know how to start. Or I have ideas, but I need money to start. So then what you have to do, and this is one of the things I teach on CobraTech.com in my hustles universities, you have to look at your business ideas and your plans and find a way to remove the need for money to attempt them. So my philosophy on business is this, any business in the world that could genuinely work, could genuinely work without investment. People get this idea in their head, I need loads of money. Did you start 21 Colin with loads of money? I started with a hundred bucks. This, exactly. No one yep. come along to you and gave you loads of money. So, yep. and every single business I've tried, I will find a way to launch it for effectively free. And yep. if it starts to make money, then maybe I'll put money. In. Or then maybe I have some balance sheet, I can go to an investor and get money. But everyone has this idea they need money first. So I'll give you an example. So, like I said, you want to try lots of different things. So let's say, off, let's say off the top of my head, you want to try a makeup brand. You're a woman, you want to try a makeup brand. So a woman will sit there. I've had people come to me and go, Andrew, I want to start a makeup brand. Okay. I need 200 grand. Why? I need to get makeup and I need to get labels. I need to get packaging and I'm going to get it all shipped in and then da, da, I'm going to sell some, blah, blah. That's the wrong way to look at a business. Here's how you start a makeup brand. I say, make a fucking website, get some images of makeup, do your advertising or your marketing or whatever you were going to do. Put it on the internet without any makeup in stock and see if you can sell. Because if you start to sell, now you have money. Now you can email each customer and say, sorry for the delay. There's a shipping delay. We're going to give you a free lip gloss. And now you've got money coming in. You can start to source some makeup. If you don't sell anything, then the idea would have never worked in the first place. And you haven't wasted 200 grand on boxes of makeup. Yeah. Like they, you can start everything. Do you understand where I'm coming from? There's a there's a way to start everything without well, actually, throwing money down the drain. This answers my next my next question was going to be what's the litmus test you use to evaluate deals? Because I'm sure you have a lot of deals thrown at you all the time. Every day, every it's, day. It's, it's really I, I like what you're saying a lot because you're saying if you can't start it for free, then you you should you don't deserve any money anyway. You're going to blow it. You're going to blow it. They're trying to offload responsibility on on you or an investor is what they're yep. doing. I think that's exactly what they want to do. And they want a nice office and they want to pay their personal bills and they want to go to the office and feel like the big man with their investment. See, everyone has this idea now because tech companies raise billions and have no yeah. profit forever and then turn into like a super billion trillion like TikTok and all the shit. That's not real world. You're not going to invent some TikTok app. OK, that's one in a you have a better chance of winning the lottery. And in, in reality, if you have a good idea and it will make money, you can find a way to do it for effectively free, especially with an online business. I said this before, if you want to sell something online, do all the marketing you were going to do, get the website up and see how many you sell. Worst case, you send the money back, but then you can come to me and say, look, I sold 400 of these. I didn't have the money to get them made, but I sold 400. If I had a made, I could have made this much profit. You, you can come at me with something. Instead of saying, I need a million dollars and I want to get this shit made, and then I'm going to try and sell it. It's, it's the wrong way around. So once you understand that no matter any business, you can, you can attempt with hard work and no money, then you get to do what a scientist did. Well, now I can try everything. And before you know it, something's going to stick and you're going to start making some money. It's really that simple. And I say this to people all the time and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go back to bed. Yeah. But that's the reality of it. And in, in, on CobraTech.com, I sell Hustlers University, which is 100 lessons. And what I've just told you is one of the lessons. But it's very, very simple. If you can approach entrepreneurship from that perspective, if you can approach it from that perspective, then you get to try a whole bunch of shit and you don't lose. I say this to, my, I say this to people all the time. If you don't blow money, it's very hard to fuck up. Like, what's the, okay, you start a company and you don't blow your money. What's the worst that can happen? You close? They don't, they don't want to face the risk of uh, the failure and rejection, the emotion. That's what it is. Yeah, exactly. But, but if you don't give a shit and you're just all about the money, then what's the worst that can happen if you don't blow money? Nothing bad can happen. Yeah.
People just have this idea, well, if I only had a hundred grand, I could. I'm like, listen, you don't, if, you, if you could do this idea of yours, you wouldn't need a hundred grand. I started Cam Girls with nothing. You start 21 Kong with nothing. You speak yep. to most people who started businesses, they started with nothing. Yep. But everyone has this, it's the tech industry that's given everyone this dream of this seed investment garbage. And we'll operate at zero profit for eight years and then we're going to make money. Come on, cough. It's the angry. Yeah. So, and th this, is the, this is the first thing about making money. And the second thing about making money is, is a very simple thing, man. People don't think about money. I'd like when I was broke, all I thought about was money. If I was in a coffee shop, I was sitting in the coffee shop with my coffee and I was looking around at all the other people in the coffee shop. How many people are in here? Who bought cake? What's the average spend? How much is the rent here? How much is that member of staff? Do they sell sandwiches? No, they don't sell sandwiches. Why not? Oh, most of the people in here are men, businessmen. Why is the waitress not attractive? The waitress is a fat bitch. Why is that? Hmm, if I was next door, would I make more money if I did this, this, and this? How much would it cost to do that? That was how my brain was. If I, all I talked and thought about was money. Hmm. The only people I hung around with talked about money. When I sit down with my friends, they'd be like, how are you making money today? I didn't sit around and talk about anything else. I didn't think about anything else. I've attempted so many things. And the truth is, about half of them made me some money. But when I discovered Cam, I knew I discovered the golden connect. But yeah. before that, I tried so many different things. I was always finding, I always had a way to find money. Well, I mean, you, weren't I, afraid to, you weren't afraid to fail is what it sounds like, good courage. Yeah, I didn't give a yeah. shit.